This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. We're going to look now at example two. When we talked about the rules for translation of transactions, we said that at the end of the year, monetary assets are retranslated, non-monetary assets are not retranslated, but there was an exception. And the exception that we spoke about was if the non-monetary asset, that could be PPE or inventory, is carried at fair value, then essentially again, there would be a process of retranslation. What does that mean? It means that if we revalue a foreign non-current asset, like a foreign building, we're going to be using the new exchange rate. In example two, we can see that a company has bought some property, plant and equipment. That took place in January 11, and they spent 72 million dinars. On that day, we can see the exchange rate was 3.6. So the asset would originally have been translated using that exchange rate. So back in 1st of January 11, remember that's some years ago, on the 1st of January 11, then at that time, at that time, the asset would have been purchased at a cost. We're doing our accounts in million dollars. So 72 million dinar. The exchange rate back then was 3.6. 72 over 3.6 means it would have been in the ledger at $20 million. The asset is then depreciated for five years. So it will be depreciated for five years until today. Today is the date of revaluation. So here we are today. The date of the revaluation I can see is the 31st of December 15. The life was 25 years, 5 have gone and 20 to go. So in dollars, just before the revaluation, on the 31st of December 15, then the carrying value or carrying amount just before the valuation takes place would have been 20 over 25 times 20. So 20 over 25 times 20 is 16. On the same day, there is a valuation. So the revalued amount, we're told, in the local currency, the local currency is 95 million dinar. Because we are revaluing, because we are measuring to fair value, that must be measured at the exchange rate on that date, December 15. So 95 million divided by, what was the rate? 4.3, 95 million divided by 4.3. I'll round that, I'll go to one decimal place and that will give me 22.1. So 
So on that date, the asset will be revalued. The increase in value is for two reasons. Firstly, because the property value has changed in the local market. Secondly, because of the exchange rate. You do not need to separate out the two gains and the gains go to the same place. So if the underlying gain is on PPE, you know that gains on PPE go to revaluation reserve or if you prefer to other comprehensive income, obviously it ends up in both of them. If the gain goes there, then actually that's where the exchange difference is. And I say, you do not need to separate them out. So if I was doing a journal on that day, I would increase the value of the PPE and increase OCI, or if you prefer, you could put something into revaluation reserve or explain the journal in that way, it doesn't matter. The difference in carrying value is the difference between 16 and 22.1 and that's a difference of 6.1 million dollars. Notice with foreign assets, transactions, you buy the asset, you translate it into dollars and thereafter it stays in your books in dollars. That's a little bit different to what you're going to see when we talk about foreign subsidiaries a bit later.